Hi, I'm Alan Fraser, and this is Piano Somatics, where we learn to move better in order to play better. Now, I've written a number of books. So after the first book came out, The Craft of Piano Playing, all about the arches of the hand and how there's tremendous potential in there. But of course, many students, after reading that book, they came to me and they told me, oh, look, you see how strong my arch is? And they're, they're actually rigidifying the arch. They're doing this exercise where I told them to press down on the keystone of the arch, which will make it stronger if the arch is well organized. And they're actually trying to play like that. So I realized, hmm, we'd better free up that arch and get it to move, which is why I came up with Honing the Pianistic Self-Image. This is my second book, and it takes that wonderful arch structure of the hand, and it moves it into a state of unstable equilibrium, which is exactly the state that we're in when we stand up. We're the only animals that stand on two legs. We balance in unstable equilibrium. We could fall at any moment, but that's why our brains are so much larger than the other animals proportionally to our body weight. It's not because we're so effing smart. <laughs> it's because we need all that extra gray matter to master the complex process of maintaining balance when we're only on two legs instead of four. That's the same for the pianist. And honing the pianistic self-image shows you a lot of exercises that are gonna get you free in every possible direction of movement to, to master any phrase, to master any rhythmic structure, to master any harmonic color. By being free, unstable equilibrium, it means being able to move in any direction without prior preparation. And it's a wonderful state for a hand to attain.